Welcome to Project Noah's Nature School. I'm your host, Ms. Mallory, the curious conservationist and your personal nature guide. In this lesson, we will become wildlife detectives and learn how to identify animals through wildlife tracking. As you know, wildlife are masters at hide and seek. So it's important to be able to identify the signs wildlife leave behind. Some signs include scat or wild animal droppings, trails, bird nests, dens, tunnels, burrows, broken branches or twigs, sharp cuts on leaves, and even claw marks on trees. But the animal sign we will be investigating today in our conservation challenge is tracks. Tracks are visible footprints left by animals as they move through the landscape. Discovering animal tracks is an exciting way to learn about an animal's story. Tracking opens our eyes and imagination to the activity and movement patterns of wildlife. Our conservation challenge is to create an animal track station to observe and record wild animal footprints. First, go to your local schoolyard, park, or wooded area and scout out a location for your track station. Focus on areas visited by wildlife, like near vegetation, wooded areas, or even around a tree can be a good spot. Remember, the flatter the area, the easier it is to work with. To make cleanup a bit easier, you can first place a sheet where the track station will be. This step is optional, but really does help with removing the sand. Next, use a wheelbarrow or buckets to move sand to your chosen location. Place a layer of sand on your station and even it out with your shovel or hands. Make the sand as flat and smooth as possible. You want the substrate to be loose enough so that it captures animal footprints when they step on it. You can test out your station by placing a handprint inside to make sure the print will be visible. Return the next day and search for animal tracks. Search for tracks of birds, squirrels, raccoons, opossums, and other small mammals. We recommend returning in the early morning so that you can discover any nocturnal animals that may have walked through your station the night before. After everyone has recorded the tracks, smooth out the sand and have it ready to collect more that evening. And just some friendly reminders, never approach or attempt to handle wildlife. Also, please do not go tracking in the wild without a responsible adult. And lastly, never follow a large reptile like an alligator on foot as their habitat can be very dangerous. When finished with this activity, be sure to clean up your track station. Remember, leave no trace. Don't let the end of this activity be the end of your tracking adventure. With your new knowledge, you can now look for tracks in the wild. When you do discover tracks, photograph them and think critically about them. Then, research the animal they may belong to. Remember, tracking is not an easy skill. It takes patience and lots of time to master. But the purpose of this conservation challenge is to open your eyes and imagination to reading the natural world around you and to hopefully spark a lifelong curiosity about animal movements and footprints through the landscape. Well, that's it everyone. Good luck and happy tracking. See you soon. Bye.